Hello everyone, Manufa Collectibles here with yet another Hot Toys unboxing and review video. And today we'll take a look at Kylo Ren from The Rise of Skywalker. Guys, a huge shout out to The One Collectibles for sending me this figure. If you want to get this one or any other Day One releases, make sure you check them out. Link in the description below. Make sure you use the code MOHC so you can save 5% store wide. So don't forget to use the code. Also, if you are new to the channel and you want to check out the latest Hatos releases, posting videos, figure previews, and now comparison videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification icon so you don't miss anything. Alright guys, enough with the talking, let's start with the unboxing, so without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, and here we have the packaging, and I have to tell you, I really like the picture of Caloran in the front with this banner as well at the bottom. This is the side of the box, Kylo Ren. You can see this is the back and now we have more like a art box in the back. It does look very nice. This is the other side of the box with Kylo Ren looking awesome as well. And this is the bottom of the box with all the credits and warnings, small pieces. Do not eat it. This is the other side of the box, Star Wars. And that's basically it. Now let me open this up and take a better look at the figure and the accessories. And here we have another insert art and guys, this one looks beautiful. I really like the picture of Kylo Ren, especially the details on the helmet. You can see the, the lightsaber here and of course Kylo Ren. Now this is how you see the figure in the packaging. So let me open this up and see what else we have here. I can see that we have the lightsaber, we have the hands and of course, the batteries and the helmet now let me remove the plastic so you can appreciate the details of kylo ren which in my opinion this head sculpt is beautiful i can wait to show you in detail all this figure so it does look very nice so you can see here kylo ren underneath we have the base so what i'm going to do next is take everything out and take a closer look at the accessories all right guys and here we have all the accessories and started with the display base as you can see, very similar to previous Star Wars bases, so nothing new. We have this cover here that you can use it on the top if you want. I personally don't like it, so I'm just gonna put it on the side. This is the Star Wars base with Kylo Ren name tag in the front. This is the bottom of the base, Lucasfilm, pretty much same as previous Star Wars figures, so nothing new in this area. Now the same thing is with this arm, you can change it if you want. This has the lineup features, so you have some peg uh, articulation here. You can see the battery compartment and of course the on and off switch. I think it is it is pretty bright, so really nothing bad. Again, similar to previous Star Wars figures, so nothing new as well. And that's basically it for this. Now, then we have this beautiful Hescope with these red details. I personally like it. I kind of like the effect in the front as well as the top and on the side you can see the red very nice paint application as well with a black and a lot of scratches dent a lot of things going on in the helmet but it does look very nice you can see the side and of course the top now the cool thing about this thing is that you can actually light it up and that i think Hato should have done that, but they wanted to do it. And by all means, is more than welcome. So what you can do is you can take this out like so, and then you have this lipstick. It's not a lipstick, <laughs> it's just the light up feature. Then you have the on and off switch, and you have two, um, I guess, two options. So option number one, I guess it blinks a little bit. I guess you cannot see it because unfortunately I have all the lights on, you know, in front of Kylo Ren, so you will not see it. But those lights kind of like go up and down. And then we have another um, option, which is the more permanent light. And that will be the bottom one. So if you just put it to the bottom, let me see. Yep, like that. You're gonna see the light up feature looking very nice. It is a great addition by all means. Honestly, I don't think Hato should have done that, but is more than welcome i kind of like the effect especially if you have the lights off it will look pretty nice as well and that's basically it for this helmet so now let me take this out and turn this off so my batteries don't die and that's basically a nice feature now then we have this uh, neck piece if you will then you can put it this way and that's it it does look very nice i kind of like and really love this mask now then we have the cape which it is a brand new design in my opinion you can see 
very nicely done all the details as well you can see the weathering and of course the hoodie which is wired so that's a good thing for uh, for poses this is the back kind of similar to the um to luke skywalker's um cape right from uh, return of the jedi but this one has more um texture and things going on now we have this magnet here so that's easy to put on kylo ren then we have the lightsaber very nicely done as well you can see the paint application and all the details in the hilt then you have the um, saber effect here on the side the wires and obviously the weathering as well and guys if you're still watching this video please don't forget to like because liking this video helps a lot and of course don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future hatos releases all right guys moving on to the next accessory we have the hands so it come with a few hands you can see this one here nicely sculpted as well very similar to the force awakens uh, hand that's basically it now let me show you kylo ren and guys i have to tell you i really like this figure this head sculpt is beautiful now let me see how tall this figure actually is and my tape is telling me that this is about 12 and a half inches tall pretty decent height now taking a closer look at the head sculpt itself guys i have to tell you this is beautiful i mean you can see the pictures here very nicely done excellent paint application really like the portrait and of course the detail on the hair very nicely sculpted very nicely painted i think hato did a really really good job with this head sculpt actually much much better than the prototype this is at the top of the head and then we're gonna move down to the suit itself now very soft material it might limit the articulation just a little bit and don't worry we're gonna go over the in the articulation section you can see the sleeves here on the arm and of course the hands nicely sculpted we have the belt which is a big piece kind of like a pleather type of material so just be very careful especially if you uh want to do some poses you know you don't want to damage that then you have the pants and i can feel we have some fat suit inside and i think this is very characteristic of hat toys lately to put fat suits on figures now moving down you can see the boots and this is my problem guys it is one solid piece and this is gonna limit the articulation guaranteed so i'm gonna show you that later in the video so stay tuned for that now this is the bottom of the feet and of course the continuation of the boots which by the way it does look nice the sculpting is excellent now moving up you can see the kylo ren's booty then the continuation of the belt and of course the back and i kind of like the material very nicely done as well and that's basically it now let's do some articulation shall we for the head you can move it up this much down this much and to the sides this much so not bad for the articulation on the head for the arm you can lift it for about this much you can lift it this way also for about this much and back let me see for about this much pretty decent now you can see the zipper there now you have uh, some swivel on the biceps and of course you can bend the elbow about this much don't worry about the material because it is fabric so you should be fine classic peg articulation on the hand now for the torso this is what the limitation happens some swivel some up crunch very limited because it is one solid piece and you can feel the fat suit inside split the legs for about this much some swivel on the thighs you can lift the um leg for about this much pretty decent not bad and of course back for about this much maybe more yeah a little bit more for about this much so not bad you can bend the knee about this much and again don't worry about the uh damaging the suit because it's fabric and this is a problem absolutely not articulation on the feet because it is one solid piece you can only swivel it and that's it that's it believe it or not that's it <laughs> all right guys taking a look at kylo ren with the helmet you can see the figure changes completely and i really like the look of this now you can see the red patterns there now the only complaint i have is the neck piece i am not 100 percent sure i kind of don't like it much to be honest with you i think it looks kind of weird but i guess because of the design i'll take it now doing some comparison here we have kylo ren next to best Carmando. height wise obviously kylo ren is taller because he is taller in real life now for the next one i'm gonna do the comparison with anakin skywalker and technically 
they both should be the same height because you know Anakin was tall guy right and pretty much almost the same height Kylo Ren is still a bit taller last but not least we have Master Luke Skywalker and this is one of my favorite figures from the prequels yes don't judge me I kind of like this look great and that's basically it for the comparison now this is gonna take me to my final thoughts about this figure Guys, I think Hatois did a really, really good job with this figure. And starting with the likeness, I don't have to say less. This is definitely Adam Driver. I can see Kylo Ren. It is a major improvement from the prototype, something that I was kind of hesitant, but Hatois definitely nailed it with the likeness. Now, the accessories, this is something that we're going to argue because it is Kylo Ren, so he will not have a lot. We have the lightsaber, we have a bunch of hands, we have the cape, and obviously the other headscope, which in my opinion looks beautiful. The red with the black blends perfectly, and the leather feature, it is a great touch by all means. Now, the only problem I have with this figure is the articulation. Bottom up, it's fine. You can, you know, move the torso a little bit, the arms, the legs, but then when you go to the feet, that's the problem. There's zero articulation on the feet because it is one solid piece. So you will not have ankle pivot. You can just maybe rotate it here and there and then play around when you do your poses. But other than that, I think this is really a great figure. And because of that, my final score is 8.5 out of 10. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Also guys, I just made it to 4,000 subscribers, so thank you so much for your support. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and my Facebook group, Six Skill Media, for anything related, once it's called figures, both links in the description below. And if you have some time, check out these two cool videos. And as always, be well, and see you around in the next video.